Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for coming to join us for today's policy seminar. I see a lot of uh, good friends around here uh, from outside of IFPRI, including, of course, those at IFPRI, which is quite nice. Um, you um, are here for uh, today's policy seminar. Uh, the topic of which is on strategies and priorities for African agriculture. But I think what we're really talking about here is al also is uh, how you go towards uh, creating the conditions for better policies and strategies in developing countries in general, but also in African countries uh, in, a party in particular. The background of this work um, uh, is to be seen as part of the um, Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Program, which is an Africa-wide uh, effort to uh, not just raise investment in agriculture, but also improve the way countries uh, design policies and implement them. IFPRI has done extensive work working with more than two dozen countries with experts in those countries and doing the analysis that will allow people to come around and uh, agree on priorities and uh, commitments and, and what have you. But at the core of this, is the need for better policies uh, that lead to better growth uh, outcomes and uh, better poverty reduction and nutrition security outcome. <laughs> Somebody said to me once, um, uh, you know, policies, you don't eat policies, <laughs> so why do you worry about policies? Uh, and the person who said that to me was working within a commodity research center, uh, and I said to that person politely, I don't think you eat laboratories either or microscopes, but what they help you do is what you eat, and that's what policies do. And in this case, I think uh, bad policies, I'm sorry, good policies may not be the solution to everything, but bad policies are certainly a problem for everything. And uh, the core of what we're trying to do here on this table is to uh, discuss the needs and the preconditions for better policies and strategies. And we have as panelists, uh, I guess, the best thing we could have gotten together here because of their backgrounds, uh, what they have done and where they're coming from, uh, Xin Shen Jiao, uh, who is going to be presenting uh, the book that summarizes uh, the work that we did that I just talked about, uh, is our Deputy Director of the Development uh, Strategy and Governance Division here at IFPRI. Uh, we have next to her uh, Jeff Hill, um, one of the, you know, uh, I don't even know how to characterize Jeff. <laughs> uh, certainly one of those who have been very instrumental to get it, uh, getting the African uh, uh, constituency to get the attention, the support, and I would add to add the respect they needed from the international community to make sure that uh, the Comprehensive Africa Agricultural Development Program could make the prog progress is made uh, over the year, uh, a uh, true champion for agriculture and growth in Africa. And then we have uh, our new colleagues, for me is the second time a colleague, uh, Karin Brooks, <laughs> uh, who spent uh, quite a lot of years in academia, but also at the World Bank, uh, where, uh, as we all know, uh, they are working day and out uh, implementing uh, investment programs programs advising governments uh, to achieve the same objective that we've been working for uh, with our friends in Africa, which led to this book. So I thank you again for being here. I look forward to a very engaging discussion, a good presentation by our panelists here. And uh, what I will do is just uh, to ask um, uh, one of our panelists we have on the list, uh, Karen, you're the first one, but I guess we start with Xin Shen, right? Exactly. So I would like to ask Xin Shen to come and take the floor. Thank you.